I told them all that I had heard while they listened in silence. Not one of them made so much as a movement, but they kept their eyes on my face from first to last. Jim, said Dr. Livesey, take a seat. They made me sit down at the table beside them, poured me out a glass of wine, and all three, and each with a bow, drank my good health for my luck and courage. Now, Captain, said the squire, you were right, and I was wrong. I own myself an ass, and I await your orders. No more an ass than I, sir, replied the captain. I should have smelt this out. I never heard of a crew that meant to mutiny without showing signs of it beforehand, but this crew beats me, he added, shaking his head. Captain, said the doctor, it's all Silver's doing. He's a very remarkable man. 